Hi everyone, welcome to the video. We're at the end of 2021, looking forward to 2022. I'm a little bit more optimistic about 2022 than I was uh, at 2021. Uh, I remember talking about in my last video of 2020 that I thought that uh, the year 2021 wouldn't be as good as we all hoped for just because we were still dealing with the, the last dregs of the you know what and I think 2022 will be a lot more clearer in which direction we're all going to take in regards to that. So I think the sales will improve. In this video, I'm going to talk about my earnings for the month of December 2021. I'm also going to look at how that month has compared to the rest of uh, the months in the year and also compare 2021 to the results of 2020 and 2019. I'm also going to show or talk about the highlights and lowlights of the year 2021 at the end of the video. Now December was a funny old month. Normally I don't do very well with the agencies in December because I don't do a lot of holiday themed photos or videos or Christmassy themes if you're not American. And this year I decided to get outside my comfort zone and photograph some Christmas lights, which uh, I don't normally do unless I come across them. So I went out one night specifically and photographed Christmas lights, and I've actually sold three or four images of uh, that group of photos. I also uh, have taken photos of uh, people and fireworks, which is a theme in the Netherlands around this time of year. And to my surprise, I took one photo of uh, some hands lighting uh, some fairly powerful fireworks and uh, the day after that I sold that image on Adobe stock. I think it was for 99 cents so that was a nice surprise. Okay now let's get into the agencies and how they did for the month of December and we'll start off with Alamy and in comparison to last month where I sold one photo on Alamy for $81 or $82. Uh, this month was a lot more tamer and I only sold one photo and that was of uh, the gannet trapped in plastic on the beach and that sold for $3.41. Bit of a disappointment in comparison to last month. Okay now we'll go to my smaller agencies of Dreams Time Deposit Photos, 123RF, IEM, Big Stock, and wire stock. In wire stock I have about 300 images now and about uh, 34 videos and in comparison to an agency that I've been uploading to since the beginning dreams time I have 2,000 images there but only a handful of videos because they hardly sell on dreams time. Now for all of those agencies I only made $6.93 for December. Now to Pond5 where I only have videos in my portfolio and around 280 of them. Last month I sold a video for something like, I think it was $64. Uh, and that was really impressive for Pond5 because usually I sell one or two videos there or nothing at all. So that was a great uh, surprise for November. December on the other hand was a little bit more tamer and I only sold one video of the Gannet trapped in plastic for $13.38. Now with Adobe stock I only had 16 downloads and I have a portfolio of about 1089 images. Uh, I've just started uploading editorial and they've started selling which is uh, nice. Some of the highlights for Adobe stock was uh, one photo of a brown leaf floating on a bright green canal covered in duckweed or cress and that photo sold for $3.30. Another highlight was a photo that I took uh, during my review of the Canon 24mm to 240mm super zoom lens and that was a photo of the, highlight of the skyline of The Hague 
uh, at sunrise and that sold for 99 cents. I just added that because it was nice to see uh, that photo selling. And another highlight was of the kid lighting some fireworks and that sold for 99 cents. All up for Adobe stock I made $8.92. Okay, now on to iStock Getty, and I had 15 downloads there as well. And I have a portfolio of 2,000 images and about 100 videos. And it's just started raining, and I don't have a lens uh, hood for my camera, so we're going to have to relocate. Okay, I've just taken some shelter under some trees. I don't have a cafe to hide in this time because uh, of course they're all closed uh, so we'll just make the best of it the wind is making my eyes water so we'll uh, do our best with what we've got uh, I stock Getty I've got 2,000 images and about a hundred videos uh, and I had 15 downloads this month a couple of the highlights were a really simple photo of a uh, glass of red uh, squash or cordial and that photo has been selling across all of the agencies regularly for the last I think two years that it's been on them. Uh, in this case it sold for $3.58 on iStock Getty in December. Another highlight was of a video uh, that I took during last summer and I was walking along the beach and there was this poor uh, harbour porpoise washed up dead on the beach uh, and I got my, I only had my phone with me, so I got really low uh, onto the sand and tried to get as steady as I could. And I took a video of the porpoise with the, uh, the waves behind it moving onto the beach. Uh, and that video earned me $7.73. In total, I earned $25.86 for iStock Getty. Okay, now with uh, my most successful agency for December, which is Shutterstock, and for that agency I have 2,200 images in my portfolio and 135 videos. Um, for December I had 46 downloads, and a couple of the highlights were uh, the beginning of the month was very strong, and I made some decent on-demand sales with photos. Uh, but coming towards the end of the month, after the 19th or so, uh, I just had a really dry patch and for, like for up to three days in a row I never sold anything and then if I did it was uh, a pitiful subscription uh, sale for like 10 cents. Another low light of uh, December for Shutterstock was that I only made two video sales and in total they uh, added up to only 50 cents which was pretty disappointing in comparison to the month before where I made a lot more with video. I think I made uh, over half of my uh, earnings for December with video for Shutterstock. Okay, a couple of the highlights were uh, one of a photo that I made uh, two years ago of a bike parked outside my house and it was an electric bike with a battery on the uh, luggage rack and I just took a fairly close-up shot detailing that uh, battery on the uh, electric bike. But in uh, December 2021, I sold a photo of that on Shutterstock for $33.68. Another highlight for Shutterstock was of uh, three photos, on-demand photos, uh, that I sold in one day. Uh, one was of a uh, a bull, uh, a beef cattle bull, I think it's called a Belgian blue something and how they breed these uh, cattle is they make them like double muscled uh, so that they get uh, much more uh, meat off these uh, cattle uh, and I sold that photo for $3.31 I sold another photo of a line of beach huts uh, during the summer and that photo sold for $2.06. Another photo was made at the beach in the summer about five years ago when I first started uploading to the stock agencies and that was a bike at the beach uh, of Kike Down and that sold for $2.06. All up for the month of December for Shutterstock I made $54.
now for the total amount that I made for the month of December for 2021. Before I do that, give this video a like if anything has been helpful or interesting to you. For the month of December 2021, I made $114.20, uh, which is uh, certainly not the worst that I've uh, made in 2021 for a monthly earning, uh, but it's also not the best. In comparison to November, where I made well over $250 or $280, uh, it's substantially lower. Uh, but historically, December has always been a pretty low month for me. So uh, now that it's not the worst month, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, now I'm looking back at my months of 2021 and at some of the highlights. And one of the highlights for me was getting out and videoing with my uh, iPhone SE 2020, which films in 4K at 60 frames uh, a second. And I, when I first got it, uh, I went out and just started experimenting with it. And I, I went out one day during a snowstorm and I videoed an electric car uh, charging its battery during this snowstorm and I was so thrilled to get that shot because it was so unusual uh, an electric car in a snowstorm charging uh, there's lots of themes to go with that like how does a battery handle cold weather and just the theme of an electric car is growing uh, in interest with customers who want to buy videos of that so uh, with all uh, enthusiasm I uploaded it to one of the agencies and it got rejected three times uh, but I didn't let that stop me because I knew if I managed to get it on the agency that it would sell so after I think the third or fourth time it finally got accepted because I didn't give up and I finally sold that video for $17.42 a couple of months later and uh, that just shows me that sometimes you keep going, you don't give up. Uh, sometimes you also have to know when to give up if you definitely are wasting your time and efforts. Uh, but this case, my gut was telling me, don't give up, it'll be worth it. And I think in the future that video, especially coming into winter, will sell more. With highlights, with stock photography and videography, you have lowlights as well. And I'm just focusing on one stock agency for the lowlights really, although it could have been spread out to a lot of more others, such as Pond5 and Alamy, where some months I just never sold anything, you know, for two or three or even more months in a row. But uh, I'll focus on Shutterstock this time. Um, it's back in May. Uh, when my monthly earning for that month only totaled to $13.55. And that really shocked me. That was the lowest amount of money I'd made since I'd first started uploading to the stock agencies. And it made me question whether this was still viable or not. What saved me from giving up stock photography was that the months after that picked up, and I started making more money again and the months looked a lot more healthy. Uh, there were a number of factors with this. Uh, the fact that I didn't sell any videos, uh, the commission rates for Shutterstock were very low as well and also the uh, you know what was having an effect on uh, the economy and overall sales. In total for 2021, for my total video and microstock photo sales, I made $1,590.48. How does 2021 stack up against the years previously, and more importantly, the year before the you know what struck, 2019? Well, in 2019, I made $1,700.07. In the year 2020, when the you know what uh, got a grip, I think after March, and then affected the rest of the year, I made $2,363. Now that would have been affected 
more if I hadn't made that huge sale of the VW Convy van on Shutterstock for $600. So that made a huge difference to my sales. But even taking away that single $600 photo sale, I still would have made $1,763 uh, for 2020, which was more than 2019, which is really interesting. So in comparison to my 2021 total where I made $1,590, it's kind of uh, strange. The fluctuation with the market and the rates with going down with Shutterstock had an effect. Plus maybe my rate of uploading, uh, which was definitely less than the previous years, probably affected that total. All right, guys. How did you go with 2021 and your month of December? I'm looking forward to hearing about it in the comments. Look after yourselves and I'll see you next year in 2022. All the best. Bye.